Welcome. We are at the Diversity and Inclusion in India Forum in Mumbai. This is an event organized by Community Business. And I'm about to speak to Mark Kaplan, a principal at the Dagoba Group and co-author of the Inclusion Dividend. Mark, you know, you've done a lot of research and consulting for a range of businesses across the globe uh, at Dagoba. And you've also now written this book on Inclusive Dividend. Uh, Tell me, what are the three things that you think Indian businesses can be doing better to, f to embrace diversity more mm -hmm. and facilitate better inclusion? Well, I think there's little things and there's big things. And some of the big things are, number one, you have to have the right stakeholders involved in sponsoring inclusion work. For example, gender is a big issue in India, just like it is in any part of the world. The most important thing to moving the dot on gender, so to speak, is to get men seriously engaged in that, right? It's very tempting to just have your diversity efforts focus all on what we need to do for women, mm -hmm. but what we really need to do is look at how do we engage the majority or the insider group, if you will. Okay. So that's, that's one. Age is another big issue, as you know, in India, and how do you fully engage millennials? So in, innovative practices that sort of kind of flip things a bit are really helpful. So some organizations do things like um, reverse mentoring, you know, where you've got, um, yeah. you know, you've the, got millennials the, the mentoring, younger, yeah. mentoring senior managers on social media, which I think is absolutely brilliant. It's really cool. It's, it's cool, it's exciting, and it keeps millennials engaged, and it takes advantage of the diversity. The whole issue, I mean, if you look at India, it's a very diverse country, not only domestically, 1.2 billion people, from lots of different backgrounds, but then you're also engaging the world uh, everywhere. So you've got to manage inclusion and diversity both internally but also externally. So it's so it's the big things. It's also the little things. I mean, when I'm working with a group of managers, whether it's in India or somewhere else, it ultimately comes down to as a leader, how do you engage people? Do, are you willing to be to work hard enough and make yourself aware enough so that you don't only connect with the people who are like you? Some managers do things like um, literally take a different employee to coffee every day. To, because what they're trying to do is they're trying to even out the, the relationship and the rapport building. So part of inclusion is just that little. It's who do you give 15 minutes of your busy day to so that you get to know them and so that you create a, a better connection and a better level of comfort so that they can be tapped as a resource. Because as you know, most of us as human beings, we, we tend to connect with the people who were most like us. Yeah, So it's absolutely. work to get beyond that. Totally. So I think that's true in India, and I think that's true everywhere. Are you able to also then point out a couple of examples to me that you think are fantastic, and you know that would be great for other businesses to follow? Absolutely. It's a bit of what I was talking about before in terms of how you position diversity and how you position inclusion. So a best, a best practice that I'm seeing right now and working on with a couple of different clients is how you connect diversity and inclusion directly to the business strategy, okay. which, is a, which is a totally different take. So I work with a lot of organizations where they're building relationships with other companies. And the process of building relationships with other companies requires inclusion because the customer base is more diverse than it used to be. Absolutely. So the, the leading companies are finding ways to actually do that in a very, in a very um, sort of intentional way. So who is the team that I bring to the client? What's the skill mix? How do I then connect with the, with the client across similarity but also across difference? Because the buyers are becoming more diverse. So uh, you know, for companies who want to put the focus on the marketplace and the clients, I think those are the companies who are going to get ahead more quickly. Okay. You know, so so for me, that's a one of the biggest challenges around inclusion is to not see it just as an issue that's about the internal dynamics inside the company, but it's really sure. how do you connect with people? How do you connect in the marketplace? Um, the company that owns, I think it's Frito Lay, their Hispanic employee group created a product called the Guacamole Chip, which has become a huge business for them. And the th the thing is, is that. If you don't have diverse decision makers sitting around the table, then the decisions that they make will not be as broad and as effective and as in embracing of the sort of diverse customer market. Part of the problems companies have is that at senior management levels, you've got, you get less and less diversity. So the thought process and what's possible becomes narrower and narrower, narrower. So companies have to find ways to engage the full workplace a bit more. And when you do that, I mean, you get tremendous breakthroughs and you, you create a lot of profit. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you.
Join our mailing list at chaiwithlakshmi.in forward slash subscribe and keep in touch with us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Pinterest.